CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike. Today, we are going to be talking about CrowdStrike. Today alone, the stock has sold off another 10%. So when is this thing going to recover? We're going to be looking at what's going on with this company and answering all of these main questions. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Carter. I've been a full-time, pretty much investor and trader in the stock market for over six years. And, you know, looking at sell-off like this, you can look at it at two approaches. One, this thing is going to continue to sell off. Or two, we we always hear the expression of buy low, sell high. Now this stock is hitting some pretty lows. So we're going to be looking at what's going on. Should you buy, sell? Uh, and if you guys want to learn more about investing and trading in the market, check out our school and you guys can use code CrowdStrike for 50% off. Only three spots for that code. So check it out right now. I'll see you in there. We talk about pretty much how to find undervalued stocks, my strategies, my mindset, my approach when it comes with navigating the stock market. So check it out down below and guys, let's jump into this here. So CrowdStrike, why? are we getting sell off? So in simple terms, CrowdStrike manages a whole bunch of software for some of the top companies in the United States. Actually, a lot of the Fortune 500 companies. Now, a little bit ago last week, they actually released a software update, which is a normal thing for CrowdStrike to do. But normally they phase it in. They slowly add it to companies to make sure there's no bugs or issues with it. The issue with this is they did not do this. They released it to the masses. And this caused a whole bunch of issues because there was bugs, there was issues with it. And this caused companies that used it, like airline companies, to actually have no scheduling so they could not uh, pretty much have their flights take off. This caused cancellation, major delays. On top of that, the, this company works with banking companies, so people could not pay their bills, mortgages. Uh, on top of that as well, there was issues with with hospitals. There was issues with 911 operators not being able to schedule calls out. So it was just a recipe for disaster. Honestly, anytime you see something like this, this is what caused this thing to just get absolutely annihilated. If we actually look at like the five day chart, you guys can see that this thing has been just slowly stair stepping its way down. Now, should you buy this stock? That is why everybody clicked on this video. So right now, the stock is trading for $200 and about $70 a share. It's like buying this stock all the way back of January of 2024. So it's like it pretty much wiped out all of this year's gains and profits. Now, looking at some of the fundamentals here, I do think some of the fundamentals um, are, are very, very important here. So if we look at it here and we scroll scroll down the average analyst is giving this a strong buy rating with the average price target near and around $387 so from its current price of 277 that's going to be your return of near and around so 380 so about right here that's going to be a return of about 40% which is really good, honestly. If you think of that, that's a great return with the lowest price target near and around 275. So some of the analysts that don't even like this stock are giving it a rating of 275 when the stock's at 272. So there's still a small return there. On top of that, you, you know, I do think CrowdStrike... CrowdStrike understands their mistake, and honestly, it's very, very rare, and it's going to be an extreme case if this ever happens again. This company brought in 900, I believe it was 900 million dollars this past quarter. So if we look at some of their fund, the revenue, 921 million dollars this past quarter. So this upcoming quarter, I'm sure we could see a possible a little decline in revenue because I'm sure if you were looking to have a company manager software, this is not a good thing for the company. So it's going to cause people that are on the fence about using CrowdStrike to probably go to another service. But for all the customers that have CrowdStrike, this is going to be, you know, I, I do think this will never happen again. They're going to continuing to work out the bugs. And if you had two companies, if you had CrowdStrike and that just say another company, as of right now, I would choose CrowdStrike over other companies. And the reason why I say that is because CrowdStrike is never gonna have this happen again. The CEO said they went at it the wrong approach and it will never happen again. So I do think for a long-term perspective, CrowdStrike is gonna be the move. But 
On the flip side, CrowdStrike is going to be a growth stock. It's going to be volatile, going up and down. Today alone, it's down another 10%. So for me, will this stock recover? I do think yes, but I also think we could get a little more volatility. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this stock go to like 250 or even like in the 240s and 230s. But I do think a great strategy for people that want to invest, that want to buy CrowdStrike and hold it for the next 5, 10, 15 years, now represents a great opportunity to buy this stock because like I said, in the matter of a couple of days, this thing is down 31%. So I, I'm buying it. I'm going to continue to buy it on these dips down. We always hear the expression, buy low, sell high. Let me know if you guys are buying it, but I do think in the next pretty much couple of couple of months we'll probably see some sort of rebound some consolidation and we are any any action in the stock market is often an overreaction you know so i'm excited to see where this company goes i understand they made mistakes but i i have a feeling this will never never happen again so let me know down below if you guys are buying it don't forget to check out our school code uh crowdstrike for 50 percent off where you guys can learn how to trade and navigate through these markets so we'll see you guys in the next one take care